What's going on, guys? Briar Rabbit here. Today is Friday. That means Zur is back in the tower. He's hanging out right over here That's next to the Vanguard mentors. We're going to take a look at what he's got today. He's got some good rolls on some equipment today, so it's probably worth taking a look at him. Uh, first, for the Glass House, for the Titans, we've got Bathed in Light. Blessing of Light and Weapons of Light last longer. That's pretty cool, but for me, when I'm running a defender in PvE and I really want to feel protected, I'll go with Helm of Saint-14, so anything that comes in my bubble is dead meat. This can be good. You can pop a bubble, and then everybody can spread out and still have the effects of Blessing of Light and Weapons of Light. You still run it fairly frequently in raids, um, but, you know, there's just better exotics. However, I will say this about this exotic. It's got a really high roll, Intellect and Discipline at 99%. So you're going to gain those supers, gain those grenades much faster with that 99% roll, which is pretty nice. The rest of the roll isn't that great. Ashes to Assets, Heavy Lifting, and Invigoration. Uh, but I'd be willing to forgive it for <laughs> for 99%er. Uh, again, I don't, I don't run this a whole bunch. Uh, it is kind of fun when you do because... Again, your blessings and your weapons do last a little longer. can give you a little more freedom to roam around before you have to come and refresh in your bubble. Um, but, you know, there's just better exotics in my opinion. Next, for the Hunters, we got the Shinobu's Vow. Main perk here is improved skip grenades, and you gain an additional skip grenade charge. We've seen how effective these things can be. They're pretty good. I would definitely at least recommend getting them, but you're going to probably re-roll them if you get them this week. It's got Intellect and Discipline, which is okay. However, it's only an 88% roll, which is not that hot. Uh, also, Fastball, I much prefer to have increased melee speed here. Momentum Transfer, Hand Cannon Loader, and Shotgun Loader. So, if you do end up picking the Shinobu's Vow, I'd probably recommend re-rolling it with some Glass Needles. Next, for the Warlocks, we got the Ram, something that got a lot of use in year one, but have seen less use uh, since. The main perk here is Strength of the Ram. Increase armor, all Voidwalker melees trigger lifesteal on hit. It's not a bad setup to run. It's really lost some of its popularity, but it's still, you know, having a little bit of extra armor and getting lifesteal on every hit. This can be good in PvE or in PvP. Uh, it's just not a bad exotic. It's it's a little mediocre in PvP right now, but it's not bad. Uh, we got increased intellect and increased strength here at 96%. So this thing is rolled again pretty high. It's really not a bad exotic or a bad week to pick this one up. We've also got inverse shadow, second thoughts, and infusion. So again, it's, it's a pretty good roll here. I might pick this one up and replace the ram I have uh, just for when I feel the need to ram. Our weapon of the week this week is one of my personal favorites, the Telesto. The main perk on Telesto is unplanned reprieve. Fusion projectiles attach and detonate with a delayed void blast. This thing does massive damage, man. It really does like sniper-like damage, but it's a lot more forgiving because you can just hip fire it, or if you aim down sights, you don't have to be quite as accurate as a sniper. Obviously, it's not going to do like the super high-end damage that something like a Black Hammer can do, uh, but it is very effective, especially when the Nightfall has Void Burn on it. It's a great weapon. It's a fun weapon to use. It's got some really good ornaments, too. Uh, let's see if we can preview that. I like that purple one. I haven't earned that purple one yet. Uh, I think I have earned this one. I'm not sure why. Oh, because this isn't mine. I love that one with the kind of holographic skin. I think that's really cool. But yeah, Telesto is an awesome exotic for PvE. It can be fun in PvP, too. Uh, but you're definitely going to have to try a little harder than you would with a normal special weapon. For Curios, we got the Plasma Drive and the Void Drive to upgrade your blue rare Sparrow to legendary status, change the color of its contrail. We got heavy ammo synthesis. You can buy three for one strange coin, ten for three strange coins, three of coins for seven strange coins, glass needles for three strange coins, three motes of light, and one exotic shard, motes of light, and exotic shards. So... It's actually not a bad week for Zer. I love the Telesto. If you haven't earned one yet, uh, definitely pick one up now. The Ram and the Glass House, you're not going to often see better rolls on either of those exotics, so might as well pick them up this week. Oh, of course, we got the Legacy Armor Engram. So if you want to hear one piece of Legacy uh, exotic armor, go ahead and waste your 29 strange coins on that. I'm going to go ahead and say not worth. Don't do it. 
Uh, not a bad week for Zur, though. It'll be a lot of fun. We're doing some streaming this afternoon. I'm looking forward to doing that. Uh, obviously, I wasn't on the DCP last night, the City Community Podcast. I was actually house-sitting uh, for my mother. My mother's got an elderly dog that needs constant care, so I went over there, uh, and she her internet situation is not such that I can really, I could really be on the podcast. So, I missed it this week, but I'll be back next week. I heard they had some technical difficulties anyway. Look, what's up, man? How's it going? Who's this? Jamango Balls? What's up? What's up, Jamango Balls? How you doing? All right, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Hit that like button if you liked the video. Hit subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I'll see you guys next time. That's weird.